Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Kids and teens got to enjoy the first snow day of the school year today. Schools in Staben, Shimon, and Schuyler counties were closed today. Some even getting out two hours early yesterday. Corning Community College also canceled classes today. Last night's big storm continued into early this morning, canceling the season's first 2300 degrees event and forcing people to have to dig out their cars. But as temperatures rose into the 40s this afternoon, all of that snow quickly started to melt. Thanks to the warming temperatures and that diligent work of the plowing crews, the roads are starting to clear up as well. Yesterday, parts of uh, 186 were closed temporarily after multiple accidents. The New York State DOT did ban empty semis from traveling on parts of the highway. The Pennsylvania DOT also reduced speed limits to 45 miles per hour on multiple highways. All of those restrictions are now lifted. The worst of the snow is out of here, but it looks like snow chances are sticking around for a bit longer. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers has our Big Fox forecast. Hey Scott, yeah, definitely seen those totals add up here in the past 24 hours from 9 inches in Ithaca to 10 and a half inches in Corning, even 12 inches of snow in Elmira in the past 24 hours. But temperature wise, we made it into the 40s today. It looks like we'll be in the 40s once again for tomorrow. So that should actually help melt the snow away. Maybe a few snow showers or flurries back in the area. They could have to maybe an inch or maybe two inches by the time we get to Sunday as temperatures do get a little bit colder once again. It looks like the colder temperatures will hang around into early next week, but looking like by the time we get to about Thanksgiving, so Thursday and Friday, we see a little bit of a warming trend coming back to parts of the Twin Tiers. Here's what it looks like for your Saturday. Yeah, very chilly for this time of year, but temperature wise a little bit better than we've been seeing. Should be back in the low 40s. Here's our next uh, little system coming through, bringing a few flurries to the area, some light snow showers late in the day, which could last into your early on your Sunday. Again, right now looking like maybe an inch of accumulation. Here's your seven day forecast. 42 degrees a high for your Saturday, 36 on Sunday. There's a little more snow in the forecast again, maybe about an inch or so of accumulation. We get back in the 40s early next week before we actually have another system come through on Tuesday, which could drop us back into the upper 20s on Wednesday. So on your travel day, if you're having me heading out for a holiday for your Thanksgiving, it's going to be a cold one. 29 degrees expected on Wednesday, but by Thanksgiving Day itself, we're back in the upper 30s with partly to mostly sunny skies and Friday right now looking partly sunny with temperatures once again in the mid 40s. Your holiday planner for the Twin Tiers again, a cold day for that travel day on Wednesday, 29 our high temperature. Thanksgiving Day itself, a mixture of sun and clouds, 38. So actually not looking too bad for your Thanksgiving Day itself and actually Black Friday shopping on Friday. Not too bad, maybe a little foggy in the morning because of the some of that melting snow that'll be going on. But we'll get back into the mid 40s though by the afternoon with partly sunny skies, so not looking too bad as we head to the middle part of the next work week. But again, over the weekend, have a few more isolated chances of a few uh, areas of snow. Again, about an inch of accumulation expected as you get to maybe early on Sunday morning. Scott. All right, thank you, Chris. Stick around. Our pet of the week is next. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Tanner's Paws in Corning has plenty of pets looking for homes right now, and you could have a new addition or two to your family just in time for Thanksgiving. Rose and Blanche are the pets of the week. I'm here with two 13-week-old kittens. They're sisters, and their names are Rose and Blanche. They are the sweetest little kitties. You pick them up, and they just start purring. They just want to be loved. They just want a home. The rest of their litter has been adopted, and these two cuties are the last to go. And really, they are so sweet. I've never met such well-behaved kittens. They are adorable. If you want to meet these two little girls, you can come down here to Tanner's Paws. Tanner's Paws is open tomorrow from 10 to 2. It's located at 117 West Market Street in Corning. In the 1930s and 40s, radio was the theater of the mind. This weekend, director Gary Yagi will present live recreations of three old-time radio shows 
in a series called The Golden Age of Radio. The first show, a western, was tonight. The next, a drama called Escape, about a giant assault of ants attacking a coffee plantation, is tomorrow. Final show, a comedy called Duffy's Tavern, a story about a skimming bartender, is Sunday. Both upcoming shows are at 2 p.m. at the Community Arts of Elmira. Tickets are $15 with discounts for seniors and children under 5. And you will want to call ahead for reservations. We do have a little bit of snow in the forecast once again, but nothing like we've been seeing here the last 24 hours. Maybe a few flurries or light snow showers for the weekend. Maybe up to an inch of accumulation by the time it's all said and done. 42, though, should help melt that snow for your Saturday. 36 to high on Sunday. A little cooler next week. We drop back in the upper 20s by Wednesday. But right now, Thanksgiving looking pretty good. 38 on next Thursday. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Have a good weekend.